If anybody wants to find me I'll be in the last place you would look In a place where people used to be A land that's called reality You'll find me there Hope that's a good uh, room, level 19. Bro, it's like 2 o'clock. It's a knackered. Uh. Whoa. This room is massive. I like that there's the kitchen right here. There's a sofa here to watch TV. It's pretty much like a mini apartment. Got a washer and a dryer. Not bad. 2 a.m. I need to sleep because I'm very tired and I need to see my friend tomorrow. I better wake up feeling fresh. Bed test. Three, two, one. Oh, oh this is actually very soft. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go sleep. This, this is too good. Oh, can't wait until I open that. Seeing the view. Show you guys. The camera doesn't pick up the night view. Or maybe I can just use my phone. Alright, I'll show you what the night view looks like. Oh, what's that? Did something just fall? Oh, it's the umbrella. There is like a ghost in here. <laughs> Here's what the night view looks like from my room. It's not bad, not bad. Good morning. Welcome to Melbourne. Look at that. Summer, by the way. Although I have to get ready in like 40 minutes. So it takes like an hour to where I'm gonna meet my friend. God. All right, I better get ready. Right, there's no time to actually record anymore. Ready to go? This rain is not it. They said, you know, Melbourne have four weathers, so I guess the first taste of Melbourne. Just gonna walk to the bus now. It's take, gonna take like an hour to get there, but it actually takes like 20 minutes to get Uber. And the Uber is insane. It's like $60. Usually takes like $20.
State Library. Let's go check it out. Now off to the street station. There it is. What's your lane's all about, eh? How oh, about girls? What? The last bit is rain room, just like 8.30. It's still like 7 o'clock. I'm pretty hungry, I need to buy some food. Still eating like some Asian dish. expecting something else but it's literally like so quick the expectation is up here but then when you got to the room it's like here to be honest I expected much more not like a room in the rain like different colors or something but now it's literally just rain in the room <laughs> Robbery. The hotel right there. Gonna take us like probably six, seven minutes. Home sweet home. That's a 
today we'll be going to do a road trip to uh, the Great Ocean Road. We'll be visiting the, well, all I know is we're going to the 12 Apostles. That's because that's literally what I Googled. My friend recommended it to me. It's going to be like a whole day. They're going to pick me up at like 11. I think right now it's like 9, 9, 10. Today so far, the weather's looking pretty good. Not as bad as yesterday. Because yesterday was like just raining the whole day. Hopefully this weather carries on when we go down south later today. We're just gonna go there and go see some rocks, I guess. I don't know, I don't know what else to say. This is the whole outfit. Neutral, neutral, white on cream. I think that's good enough for snacks. It takes 12 minutes to get there. I don't know if you can see. We can treat this as like a pre-workout session before we go on an actual hike later on in my books. So I got here like four minutes early. I don't know, they got my number, but I don't have the, their number. Usually how tour guide goes, tour guide texts you 10, five, 10 minutes before and just be like, we're on the way, I'm gonna pick you up. Hopefully they call me. If not, then I just got scammed by an Australian company. So Finally here, after like an hour late. There it is, that's a go west right there. All right, let's go. Great Ocean Road. The weather is actually so nice, oh my god. Look how green the hills are. how it's not cold. I think it's around like 20, 22, 23 degrees and it's just like slow moving winds. I wish we could have gone down there. That would have been perfect. But unfortunately it's closed. Alright, Bluff Apostles. So Apostles look out that way. Hopefully it's not crowded. It doesn't look like there's gonna be a lot of people, but we'll see. I mean it is Sunday. Technically people has work tomorrow, right? So they wouldn't go late till sunset. What a view.
the sunset, we got scammed. <laughs> Sun is setting over there, but then these clouds are like blocking the way. It is what it is. Can't really change the nature. This is as best as it could get right now. At least there's no like clouds or mist covering the top apostles. I just found out that the reason I googled like why is it called 12 apostles for marketing purposes although you could only see nine at the time of the name actually let me count so there's one it's two three four five six seven probably eight the one behind and probably nine and like just behind it when I look at this it legit looks like what I see on like postcards or like stock photos it legit looks the same so cool to see it in real life so peaceful pure bliss definitely if you come to melbourne you should check it out don't worry about the city the city can be explored like in all like one or one and a half days but seeing it in real life it's just magical Twelve o'clock and I'm so hungry. Oh, I literally only had like lunch. I only had that Mexican lunch. <laughs> Overall, that one day trip was definitely worth it. I've been seeing the Twelve Apostles like on the ads, on the postcards, definitely, and then seeing it in real life. It's just a surreal moment. I'm grateful for that that I'm able to see it in person. It's just another bucket list ticked. If you do come to Melbourne guys, make sure you actually visit the things outside of Melbourne. I would recommend definitely book it during summertime because you won't be seeing any mist or fog or anything and it won't be as cold and you get to enjoy it. See you in the morning. I woke up late. My bus is leaving like 30 minutes. Fit check. Woo! I, which is the second from the end. Second. Alright, thank you. You can see how it's like E, F, G, H until I. It takes like 14 more minutes until we leave from here. I think it's gonna go like that way all the way. So, see when you go here, you go from Belgrave to Lakeside because this, well, people say that's the one that's like really worth it. An hour to get there and then stay two hours there and then an hour to get back. don't know what time I'm supposed to get back. It's a tennis ticket. So it departs at 10 from Belgrave station and it arrived here at around 11. So and then we have to get back on that um, train at 12.30. I got one and a half hour spent time here. Hello. Hello. Just uh, one ticket please uh, for, what would you recommend? 15 or 15. 20 is usually. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> Sit out there and enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> Here are the prices. For 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. Hold the handle, okay. I'll figure out a way to steer it properly. Here solo. Just stand in the middle and one on the left side, one on the right side. And you should be able to steer it properly. It's actually a huge leg workout. Oh, my legs. After dangling on the freaking train, my legs are. Let's just say my legs aren't working like they used to be. I am actually getting cold out here. There's no shade or anything. I'm trying to find shade, but I can't even like go on the side because there's yellow cones. We have to stay inside the yellow cones. It's pretty much a tanning session. Oh my God, I need to be carried right now. My legs 
it's moving too much from the paddling. Oh, I need to sit down. Food is I'm getting pretty hungry now right now. Oh, we're going to Acme. Apparently it's free. We're gonna go check it out. I'm gonna go to the grocery shop, get some things to feed myself tomorrow and for the next couple of days. Just enough for breakfast. After that, we're gonna go visit, see the Christmas lights, um, which is at Yarra River, like somewhere at the end there. Can I have a go wrong It's pretty convenient how it's only like five minutes away from the hotel. The hotel's actually right there. And the call's just right here. It's like almost 11 o'clock. Hopefully the light show's gonna go off soon. Because that's what I'm here for. Today's itinerary, we're gonna go to Phillip Island. It starts at 1 though. Right now it's like 9 o'clock. I was planning to go to Queen Victoria Market this morning, but I need to sleep in. I haven't slept in for like the whole time I'm here. Outfit check.
difficult as pelicans trying to fly. I can't imagine eating lunch out there with the seagulls and all. It will be a disaster waiting to happen. Towards the view platform right now. Peasants. Not peasants. That's where all the peasants are. Whereas where ours is like down here. As you can see. They said they all come this way, so they're gonna come up from there and they're gonna walk alongside here. So people are who are sitting down there are very lucky. So they get to like come up close and I mean this is free, you can come up close like an arm like no probably not an arm like but like a meter but want to visit it you got a good upgrade penguin plus you can get like good view them walking up but it's actually a, it's like hundreds of them 12 10 i got a flight to catch tomorrow at six a little crash up but it's see you guys tomorrow catch you all ready to go let's go to sydney Put down Blue Mountains in the Uber app and they're like, oh, where are you going to a specific place? And I was like, oh, the Blue Mountain. And then he was like, oh, the whole thing is Blue Mountain. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> it turns out there's different section. So there's the Three Sisters and then the Scenic World where you get the world's deepest ride. So that's the Three Sisters right there. We got like a one and a half hour to complete everything. It's massive. Holy shit. It's like the Australian version of Grand Canyon. There's the Three Sisters right there. As much as I want to see the Katoomba Falls, I feel like it's gonna take up so much time because there'll be like queues for the ride as well and the cable car. Maybe I'll save it for next time. I'm only here for like a day. I'm cramming everything into one. It was like six stops from the Three Sisters to the Scenic World. Let's go buy some tickets. They said it takes like a 10 minutes wait for each ride. I think we should be able to get all the rides. It was like $54. Best to book it online or just like me, just book it like while you're on the line so you can skip the queue. Chasing stars and holding I can't see the end, but we'll see it. My name's Juliana Ryan. There's literally like no one here. I don't know if it's because the weekdays. I think I can make it to fit. I can finish everything. I'll get all the rides in like in under an hour. If you have like more than 12 hours layover and you want to visit the Blue Mountain, you'll be able to. Keep in mind that it takes almost three hours from the airport to the Blue Mountains here. The travel time probably will take longer than the actual time you'll be spending here. But they have like tons of attractions here. I'm just being selective on which one I would like to try. It's actually pretty damn hot out here. Thank God for this mist. Very hydrating. Danger 
foolish times don't fly too high Be sure to keep the ground in sight Fly forever if you keep it tight Love the world but keep the sky on your mind Missed the train by 15 minutes, so now I have to wait the next hour. It's 2.36 right now. And the next train is at 3.20. Oh my god, it's so long. One hour later. Yo, we made it. Look at it. Whoa, Sydney Harbour Bridge. Sydney Opera House. It's actually not that far. It was only like 11 minutes walk from the Circle of Keys. I'm just gonna walk around the Sydney Opera House and see. I actually never walked behind it, so let's check it out. I think if I have more time, I would have like climbed up the Harbour Bridge. I've done so many steps already. There's a lot of runners here as well. Behind the Sydney Opera House. It doesn't look that quite appealing actually. It's actually the better view up here. You get two in one. Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. It work. Hey, well, look at that photo. Damn. We've got plenty of time. It's still like 6:30. I'm planning to go back at 6:45. So, oh, there's actual concerts. That's why it's blocked up over there. 6:45. Time to head back to the airport. It's gonna reach there in about 30 minutes. This is the view you get inside Kalaki Station. Have a bridge over there. For a house over there. And you got the resilient building, which is like a big cruise ship owned by Virgin, I think. 12 hours completed. I'm gonna go back just before eight. Less than 12 hours. Back at the airport, baby. A balanced diet after walking over 10,000 steps every day. Back at it again. I'm pretty sure it's the same spot as this morning. Uh, second last day. Well, technically it's the last day because tomorrow morning I'm gonna leave. It's my outfit for today. Today's gonna be going to Queen Victoria Market and then I'm just gonna troll around Melbourne. So it's what you can expect from a market. So there's like bags, clothes, food, pretty much everything you can think of. It's in here, Queen Victoria. I wonder if they have like a sling bag, like a shoulder bag, but like leather. I'm trying to look for one. See if I can get one for like a cheap price. It's like as big as, almost as big as my head. Oh. It's very expensive. As much as I want to try the fresh produce, I don't think I can buy any because I to bring it back home. Because it'll be not fresh by the time I get down, so. National Gallery of Victoria next week and it's all brown.
Let's try out the food. Get that protein. I'm trying to put everything in one plate. This is too hard for such a small plate. I'm so hungry guys, I didn't even eat breakfast so I'm just gonna eat as much as I can. Actually, no. I'll try everything and make sure I won't still won't be full so I can taste the food up in the plane. Pretty good. I'm confused, like, can I just leave the stuff here? Or? Gotta be a healthy diet. Okay, so this, do I just press? Oh wait, I gotta press. <laughs> pretty healthy. It doesn't really look that appealing, but trust me, it tastes good. <laughs> me going home, get the bag and go home, so I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Alright, catch you guys. Bye.